let's talk to it another. This is myself filming. I'm filming here with the GoPro 7 and a GoPro 10 108060. Uh, this is Norton Summit, Adelaide, Australia, to and under 2024. Andrew Tidswell to my left, just out of frame there. Um, Adelaide, man. That is the host city of the Tour Down Under since 1999. And I've seen every edition of the TDU uh, since 1999. It's an amazing race. And it's been amazing to see riders' careers start and finish. Guys like, you know, Sagan, uh, O'Grady, Contador, you know, Pogacar, Lance Armstrong. A lot of careers started at the TDU and also finished at the TDU. Cookie Man and ended his career in 2019 here. Um, you know, it's it's a, Adelaide's the city, man. Banter, it's ba- Banterlade. You know, we love the magic cookies here, um, especially up Norton Summit. New Norton Summit time today. Eleven minutes flat. Local rider Chris Harper. Incredible time. And I was just talking to Chris before. Then he said he did it solo, and it's quite a hot day today. So Chris is in some serious form to be able to ride that quick up Norton Summit. Fantastic time there. Fantastic time. Um, so yeah, so basically we're doing some filming here, just filming some sort of riders, and just looking at, we're talking about bike fit, we're talking about nutrition, we're just talking about a lot of things, cycling related, I, you know what I mean, I'm, I'm a big cycling nut, never had a driver's license, age 46, Let, but let's talk about um, Adelaide, man, and why Adelaide makes the Tour Down so special, ask any pro rider, or any organ person who's involved with pro cycling, and they'll all agree that Adelaide is the only city on earth you can have a race like this. You know, it's just a special city. The climate, the population density, the network of roads, the safety. You know, so I'm clearly on the right. We're going to jump on his wheel, get some get some heart rate up. It's, Adelaide's just a special place. All the riders who come here have a really good experience with the training, etc. Right? They're just like, wow, there's such variety. It's, you know, I mean, obviously the flight from Europe's not the best. I mean, it's better than sitting in a boat for three months, but, you know. Adelaide as a city is it's the only place you could hold a race like this because of the logistics. You know, it's got that perfect balance of population density, so you have the amenities, the services, and the population to support you know, spectatorship and stuff like that. But you don't have the population like Sydney or Melbourne or you know New York City or whatever, where it's just it's too hectic. You know, Adelaide is just a very very special city, and I've travelled around the world a lot. And I'm going to put my hand up and say Adelaide is the best city in the world. Not just because I live here. Not just because, you know, I've, I work for South Australian Tourism Commission. Not, 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 none of that. All right. Honestly, man, I, I generally believe... If you took away all your friends and all your family and all your obligations, all right, and if you could live anywhere in the world, where would you live? You know, that, that's, that's, that's how you find the place to live in life. Take away all your friends and family, okay, hypothetically... Your kids, everything. You know, the, yeah, the ego of like, well, I've got to live in Sydney because that's where successful people live. And no, no, that's where stressed people live. <laughs> Stress kidney Sydney, okay? So if we took away all the ego, all the obligations, the family, the friends, all that stuff, all right, and you had to ask yourself a, a criteria of a city to live in for your best life quality, your best health, nature, safety, air quality, all the things that we need for human health, you're going to come, uh, come up with Adelaide. Now, I, if Adelaide didn't exist, I wouldn't live in Australia. There's no fucking way I'd live in Australia. Now, I'm, don't, don't get me wrong, I'm, I'm grateful. Super, super grateful. And I understand my privilege of having an Australian passport. Right? So I ain't, I ain't complaining here. I'm just saying, if Adelaide didn't exist, I wouldn't live in Australia. You know? Or if I did live in Australia, I'd just be homeless bike touring. I could do that. I could just ride around Australia perpetually as a homeless bro. That's that I could do that, or I'd be living in Asia, you know, because Asia, just the culture there, the, the setup, it's just amazing. The, only, the unfortunate thing about Asia is the pollution, you know, the, the traffic density. It, it is uh, it is hectic, you know, the air quality, etc. So it's, you know, um, but otherwise Asia is amazing, like Thailand. I mean, the people in Asia, you know, like you just, it's a different vibe, man. And it's not just how they treat tourists; it's like how they treat each other. Okay, you know, you. Uh, I could go to a slum in the Phil. I've been to slums in the Philippines. You know, the poorest slums in Southeast Asia. When I've taken the Tasha, I'm wearing my Rolex. 
I've got my brand new iPhone in my hand, not a single problem, okay? Deep into the slums, where it's open sewers, there's people are like, whoa, where are you lost? You know, hey, Joe, and it's, everyone's super friendly. And the ones who aren't super friendly are just super surprised, like, what are you, what are you guys doing here? Ma- imagine that. Now, imagine if you're an Asian tourist from the Philippines and you went to some of the, you know, quote-unquote slums of Australia, you're not going to get the same hospitality. <laughs> you're going to get mugged, bro, all right? Wearing a Rolex and a brand new phone and the youth see you, you're going to have some problems, unfortunately, you know? I would have some problems, unfortunately. So it's just, and I'm a, I'm a local... Aussie Bogan Redneck. So that's why Adelaide is just a special place. It is an amazing place. Overall, Adelaide ticks the most boxes. We're riding the Stana BMC here. And remember, gang, sugar makes you fat and cycling makes your legs massive. Okay? <laughs> what? Yeah, I love that one. But doesn't cycling make your legs very bulky? And don't they say sugar makes you fat? Oh, we did a bike change. Look at that. Went from the Stana BMC to a Team Onsa. That was a Cool transition. <laughs> I'll leave that one in. Team Ineos, aka Team Sky. Now we're filming with the GoPro 10. You know, like people are like, Harley, go get some footage of the pros. Go and jump on your 20 year old bicycle with your rabbit sugar food diet and go and ride with the best riders on the planet up Norton Summit and film it. Can you keep up on your 20 year old bike? I can keep up as long as we're not going to Berserker. You know, that, that, that's, that's Adelaide, man. And this is like, a, this is a couple of kilometers from my one of my one of my places that I, I, I run all right oh the other day i was looking at my balcony at another place i have and i saw a freaking uh one of the teams riding past you know <laughs> it's like I've, I've gone to check the mailbox you know and one of my places then the pro team rides past you know like world tour teams just ride past you know <laughs> just checking the mail or check in the balcony for the pigeons and World Tour team riders ride past you. It's just the serendipity of that. Adelaide, man. That's Adelaide. All right? That's Adelaide. I'm sitting, literally, I'm sitting here a couple of hundred meters away from the Hilton Hotel where all the riders are based. I'm sitting here in my uh, my, my studio, uh, just editing this Ineos SUV there, full drive, coming past. I do like the team kit for Ineos this year. It's a lot safer in terms of visibility, you can see these guys coming from a mile away. So I think that's fantastic. Visibility for the athletes has to be in primary consideration. Some of these teams out there got such dark kit. I'm like, man, what are you doing? What are you doing? I was talking with a uh, an owner of a very very large cycling apparel brand, one of the one of the one of the most well known ones today. And uh, I was saying you should do some uh, do some Quicksilver, some hot tuna style stuff from back in the eighties. Bring 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 back the color. Let's bring back the color of the cycling, man. Let's bring back the 80s. Let's bring back the 90s. Let's bring back some neon. Let's make it safer for cyclists out there. A lot of people don't ride bikes because they fear the danger. Someone gets hit, a friend, and 99% of the time, that person's wearing dark clothing. All right? Yeah, I run lights. at day. Yeah, daylights are great, but they're not as good as some neon socks or neon helmet, are they? I, saw this, I see people in, in the city with neon helmets, man. They stand out. They sound like, stand out like cat balls. This Astana kit's pretty visible, you know. Um, who's on my team? Who's on my uh, chopping block this year in terms of bad colours for teams? They're pretty good, most of them. They're getting better. Um, but yeah, Team Sky with the black kit back in the day. That was good for racing but uh, and good for, you know, cleaning, but wasn't good for visibility, was it? So it's good to see that Ineos employing some marginal gains there in terms of safety. Visibility is important. Right. Ride to return, gang. Adelaide is an amazing city. It's the cheapest city in Australia to live. Yes, Australia has a massive... It's insane. It's it's quite surreal to talk about it. It's a crazy reality. But there's a massive shortage of rentals right now in Australia. A massive shortage of properties. And the, the prices are absolutely insane. It's a fucking, it's crazy, man. And the reason that is, is because we've allowed so many immigrants into Australia, the competition is just at an all-time high, you know, in my lifetime anyway. You know, so the immigration, we've just let, you know, hundreds and hundreds of thousands in the last few years. And uh, it's just, just, they've scooped up all the, uh, not all, but majority of the uh, rentals and property. This has boomed it. 
So good if you're into real estate, like me, but if you're looking to rent or buy, and now, then yeah, it's, it's pretty hectic. It's very hectic. So that was never an issue before. Like Adelaide, you could, I'm, 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 like it's just, Adelaide was just, it is rad, but before the rental crisis hit, man, you could just, it's just so cheap here, man. It was so cheap to get a room or get a rental. It was, it was just people just, you know, it's crazy. And it's still the cheapest in Australia, but for what it was compared to, it's pretty crazy, man. And it's uh, I feel I feel for people out there. I, I I have a very low anxiety levels for myself. You know I, I have a fucking amazing life. My life is so amazing. My anxiety is for other people. I'm like man, I'm, like, I'm concerned about other people. I'm like hey, yeah, you know like, so I'm always out there giving people advice and helping them make the right step forward. You know, and if you hang around me long enough, you'll be on your back, you know, pushing you along in the right direction. That's all I'm doing. But I I don't have anxiety for myself. I anxiety have anxiety for other people. It's getting hardcore out there, and Adelaide is sort of in a bit of a bubble. Well, even with, with the lockdowns we had recently in the last few years, of so the coercion and all that, Adelaide it was just very uh, the most lax. It was the most lax. Even the police here are a bit more lax about it and be like, "Yes, yeah, Adelaide, yeah, it's all good." But there's this ego, isn't there? Like if you live in Sydney or Melbourne or Brisbane, it's like, "I'm going to Adelaide. What are you going to Adelaide for?" Adelaide. Is bo-. So there's this massive ego because Adelaide is seen as like this, like, "Oh, Adelaide, oh, Adelaide." That's just full NPCs. Oh, Adelaide, yeah, 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 Adelaide. Just whenever someone bags Adelaide, you know, they're just fucking, they're, they're just living life on hard mode, man. I was going to say they're a loser. No, they're, they're losing in life in terms of they're living life on loser mode, hard mode, okay? Not everyone's been to Adelaide. Not everyone's seen what I've seen in Adelaide. So I, I can relate that, you know, people don't, people don't, you don't know what you're missing out on until you've actually lived here. Anyway, that's the deal. If you want a Western city in the world to live in or a city overall, I let me know down below, people. What's a better city in the world overall to live? Yes, in France you have bigger mountains. We're talking cities, not you know, not city city, not you know. Now, what what do you have out there? I don't know any other city, and I'm a world traveller. Please let me know down below which city in the world is better than Adelaide, and uh, let's have a little friendly debate. Thanks for watching, and see you at the TDU. Come and watch TDU, the best race in the world in terms of uh, proximity and logistics. It's unbelievable.